Movies I thought were weird. Okay, first of all, shout out to Derek FDB. What does FDB mean? Uh, uh, for the bros. Oh yeah, Derek's for the bros. Uh, if you don't know who I am, my name is Philly on Mars, and we do nothing but family from the content over here. You already know. Um, in this show, right? I already see this movie, and I love this movie. This movie's fire. It better not be on the list, bro. Anyway, let's see it, bro. You know, movies. Yo, right, chat. What's the weirdest movie y'all have seen? This is the best movie I've seen, bro. This is one of the best movies I've seen. Something that I've come to love as I've gotten. I should older. do a video I wasn't on it. I want to sit down and watch many of them when I was younger, but nowadays I like to consider myself a movie goer. A okay. connoisseur. However, as you guys may know, for every few good movies, there's uh -huh. always the weird one. That movie that either leaves you so uncomfortable or yeah. so confused or so so. Sasha's party is so fire. So today uh, I'll be going over some. Yo, of the they're making guys. a second Sasha's party, aren't they? I thought, and even some of y'all thought were super weird. What's the hottest like, video one game? Weird movie that immediately mm, comes to know. mind is Zootopia. Now this one may <laughs> be a surprise to y'all. Wait, it's such a popular. Isn't there a bunny that is bad on there though? Zootopia film it's a disney movie about a society of animal people is you that know, the bunny bunnies, wait no that's a jiff donkeys Almost i've never watched the show you can think of it was there you can see why it's so popular but yo see people like you you have to be like 15 i mean like 12 years old this dude said it was a joke a, a wigger can't make a joke let me go back i forgot what you even said do a making a sandwich stream please bro i'll beat my meat to your stream yeah that's such a joke like actually end your life in gta Oh my gosh. This I nigga look like Tupac. To inform y'all, it's weird. Don't get me wrong though. It's an enjoyable movie with like the what? usual Disney the joke. villain. And a really powerful message about the prejudice. Oh, that's the baddie. You know, oh my god. Like you it. know you know how many girls would want to wants to fuck the shit out of that thing? I've seen so many memes about girls wanting to fuck this. You can face. You know, I liked it. But I can't help but think Mickey knew what this would create. He knew where the money was. He knew who this the is a Disney show? demographic was. I mean, uh, so movie? Dang. I gotta watch this with like I a baddie like or something. I was 13 at the time this movie released, and I already knew this thing was gonna do post-mortem numbers in the furry community. Yeah, that's right. Oh. My problem with this movie is not Furries the movie like this? itself. It's the community it created. Y'all know I don't like judging people on this channel. Often. But the Zootopia Psst. fandom is... Weird. Like, come on. There's bro. a fandom. What is this or this or this. Like, bro, I'm gonna be so real with you, bro. I don't think that's. I don't think that's furry fandom. If that's furry fandom, then I'm a furry. Weird. Like, come on, bro. What is this? If this is if this is furry fandom, I'm a furry. <laughs> I don't think it's about animals. I didn't think everything that had to do with animals was furry related. I thought furries was something super specific. Can I smell your feet? What the f? Or this. And your name or is Quaker. Like, Y'all can call me a crazy conspiracy theorist, but I know they played into it on purpose. Like they literally have this one scene in the movie where our main characters go to like this yoga place and every animal there has no clothes on. Like they're meant to be naked. I get it's supposed to. Okay, bruh, these are animals, bruh. Okay, that was an, an insane shot. And I just want to let you know, I will be using that for the thumbnail. That was an insane shot. To be funny, haha. Ha. But pause. Got what poop the f What the fuck is this movie, bruh? You got elephant poom poom all up in your face. Like, talking about some yoga. What oh kind of my gosh! This? this is a daddy party for animals. Then, if you also know. Okay, I didn't know the show was this crazy. What the fudge? Out of all the animals I mentioned earlier, the bunnies, the giraffes, the donkeys, all those, they're missing one very, very popular animal. That's right. Monkeys. There's no form of monkeys in Zootopia. Wow. At all. No apes, no chimps, no baboons. Nothing. Wow. The is because they want to stay as far away from humans as possible, and primates are too close to humans. Blah blah blah. That's wow. obviously a bad excuse. I ain't even come from a monkey. My mom is clearly human. Okay. The reason they <laughs> actually excluded them is because no furries dress up as monkeys. They're <gasps> still pandering. When you think of, I didn't even think about that. Let me look at these furries. All right, who's the coolest furry here? I definitely say, um, I'm trying to think of a unique one. Um, okay, this one has glowing eyes. Um, 
This one's a horse. I think I'm going to go with the glowing eyes one. And he has a cool varsity jacket on, glow yachty type of fit. I'm not going to lie, this might be the coolest N-word in the room. Still pandering. When you think of furry, monkey doesn't come to mind. That would have been bad marketing. Yo. Furries don't look at Curious Georges or King Kongs. They look for nine-tailed foxes and, and Charizards for some reason. I'm not going to lie, both of those things are better than monkeys, bro. Give the presence of a lion? Well, Alex the lion, come on now. That's the only reason they wouldn't include monkey. Either that or they foresaw this whole Pac situation we got going on in the world right now. Uh -oh. That would low-key be a good reason. Person of Another color. movie ah. I found weird was Hoodwink. You see, this one also has a large animal cast, oh my gosh. but it doesn't have a weird fan base like Zootopia. And it's low-key peak. Okay. There is... Okay, chat. I don't know why, and I just got chills. There is something about this character right here that gives me such an interesting vibe. And I don't want to say anything. But this character right here gives me such an interest. Look at the smirk. Look at the look at the like. I don't want to say it. Where are these human beings coming from? I don't want to say it, but like the movie is genuinely enjoyable. It's just it's a huge. This movie just made no. Your lips look like it got a BBL. And your name is BBL Philly Lips. What the fudge, dude? Bro. She's 16, bro. This movie came out a million years ago, and you're talking about she's 16. Hood winked. Came out in 2005. I was three years old. Three years old. Fever dream. It's more of a what is even going on kind of weird. This movie's a spin on the Little Red Riding Hood story, but instead of it being the classic, oh, Granny got turned into a wolf again, yeah. it's a who done it. A mystery movie where we go. Yo, uh, Minority Hunter, thanks for the follow. The perspective of now the you're 50. Cast. Little Red, the grandma, the wolf. Alone. This movie was so weird. Now that I really think about it, it's Red extra Jack strange. And a squirrel to find out who's going around stealing recipes and goodies from around the woods. Now, while the plot of this movie is simple, these characters are all over the place. This Little Red now knows karate like she's a part of Cobra Kai or something. The grandma, instead of being was that Peyton List, why is she on there? helpless grandma is like this action movie adrenaline junkie the big bad wolf isn't bad at all and is voiced by the guy from emperor's new group the lumberjack isn't a lumberjack he's an aspiring actor what and the, the squirrel this dude is clearly off that snow these characters are ridiculous they even got that one goat that went viral on tiktok the thank you Thank you. Another thing for me was this movie's animation, cause the it's animation like it's really, crazy, really bad. Like sometimes it's hilariously bad, but other times, uh, other times it was just scary. This movie. I think that's the point, though. This shit was supposed to be booth, bruh. I can't lie. This junk is definitely off the booth, bruh. This junk is definitely an interesting scenario, bruh. It also reminded me of how silly the original Red Riding Hood story is, because if you can mistake your grandma for an 180-pound wolf, then that says something about your granny. I'm sorry. Take her to a Brazilian wax place or something, because that's gross. But those are wow. the more silly animated movies. That's not the ones that are hard to watch. Like a movie like The Human Centipede. Ew. Okay, let's not talk about that one. I don't think I have to explain why this one was so disturbing. I mean, the title pretty much tells Ew. you a crazy scientist wanted to make a human centipede for some reason, so he made a human centipede for some reason. If you want to know more I, about I've never watched works, that show, watch bro. that South Park episode. I'm not even going to oh, Okay, yeah, movie. South Park Another perfect. one of those hard-to-watch ones is Midsummer. And I'm saying that now, Mid if summer. you're a kid, please avoid this movie. And if you're an adult, definitely avoid this movie. Unless you go through some form of... First time chatter at Philly on Mars. Respectfully, can you bounce that ass? Yeah, send me a thousand dollar donation and then you will get your request, big bro. With my strengthening training, just don't watch it. This movie is the definition of uh, uncomfortable. It touches upon and shows a bunch of stuff that could get this video the age restriction of death. So, you too, please chill. This movie's about this girl named Danny and her boyfriend who are not in the happiest of relationships, I'll say. They're a little uh -huh. toxic and. 
the boyfriend might not love her anymore. And after Danny goes through her very own Sasuke Uchiha origin story, like, it was bad. Her, her boyfriend, and some friends go up to Sweden for this super rare once in a blue moon midsummer festival. And yeah. When they get there, that's when stuff gets weak. The people in this village are pretty much a cult with these weird practices like euthanizing their elders, making what some, the some strong Bloody Marys, I'll say, taking hallucinogens, and debatably, debatably, the worst one, human sacrifices. Surprise! What? This cult is a murderous one. And what? These dudes do not play. They killed one dude for trying to take a picture of their sacred text, which is like, I right, might be a little understandable, but kill him? Then they murked the couple that came with them for just. Okay, so they've murked every black person. Have you noticed that? So they killed that black guy, and then they killed the girl who's mixed. Like, I mean, this person who's mixed. For just I see the hair. Like, what the fudge? Am I, am I tweaking? Thief. They drowned the girlfriend and performed the blood eagle on the boyfriend. Th I, that I don't was know if know what the blood eagle is, but it's bad. Then they killed one dude for peeing on a tree. Like, come on, bro. He oh, my gosh. Is that Luka Doncic? Yo, I thought I was going to pee on a tree, too, He's bro. He's giving back today. to nature. These cult people are evil. They're sick. Like, what's going on, PewDiePie? I, I thought Swedish people were chill. And that wasn't even Yo, the worst of it. I want some yet. Swedish the worst balls of it in my was mouth. The ending of the movie. So, after all their friends got brutally packed up, all that's left is Danny and her boyfriend, who okay. are both mentally shattered at this point. If it's not from all them drugs, it's from, it's from those strong drugs. Yo, thanks after for the Danny 100 bits, bro. It looks like her boyfriend cheated on her. And I say it looks like because I assure you that is not what was happening at all. Uh -huh. Those people crown her the queen of the midsummer festival. She gets the choice to sacrifice her now paralyzed cheater boyfriend. And yes, they, they did paralyze him. What? For a random, sweet old, innocent villager. And what? obviously, she chooses the boyfriend. This scene is just so messed up because it's like, okay, he's not the best person, but if you know the context of what Danny saw happen in that room, this is just a huge misunderstanding. The what dude the did not fudge? cheat on her. It was more Luca. like he was being forced to cheat, if you get what I'm saying. Then after Danny's decision, they burn all the sacrifices in this like triangle building. All the Swedish people start screaming and dancing, and Danny smiles, finally feeling content. Content in quotations because she pretty much lost her mind. When you finish this movie, it's just like what did I just watch? I'm not gonna lie, I need to find some baddies to watch these random movies with. Yo, Chad, if you want to put me on with some baddies, let me know, man. This movie was made by the Chad, I got a tweet that was very interesting. Um, someone said, it was like, I gotta find it. It says something along the lines of like, yo, Philly, my sister is 21 years old and has a crush on you. It was that, bro, <laughs> that had me crying, bro. I was like, nigga, what? I was like, bro, what? I can't find it. It happened, trust me. It happened, trust me, trust me. I can't find it, though. I was like, bruh, don't take no hoes to watch this. Same dude who made Hereditary and the strange thing about the Johnsons. And if oh, you've never God. seen that film, now that, <laughs> that's a weird film. But although Midsummer scarred me, there is one movie that scarred me even worse. One movie that I watched around the same time as Utopia, and it's another animated movie. Nah, nah, nah! Sausage Party. This is the best movie ever, bruh. This is like the best movie ever. Ah. <laughs> this movie is so good. Yo, once when CJ, like once the CJ gets here, uh, uh, like when he's at the house, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna have him. I'm gonna have us watch this whole thing. I'm gonna record it for y'all, bro. And I'm gonna make a whole video on it, bro. This is good. This is too good of a. Sh this is too good. I'm sure. I think we might make this like the Christmas special or something like that. Some y'all remember this one, and if you don't, good. Don't remember. It's about these sentient food and grocery store items who see. Us Fuck no, I got a boner f from this five times. All right, bro. Us humans as gods. Stop it, bro. Even Celtics fans go grocery shopping from time to time. And those are the least godly things on earth. And after a group of them find out what humans really be doing with our food, they start trying to warn the other items. And this movie is like the dark toy story for foods, because we really see how messed up stuff looks from their perspective. Like they had this whole scene that looked like Omaha Beach on D-Day with Jesus. Grapes, Oreos, PB&J, all getting brutally murked. Oh and my like gosh. This is such a good movie, bro. Y'all can't lie. And then Sasha's scary, Party 2 is going to be too good. Sad. When in reality, it was just a clean up on aisle five. But this movie really did have me feeling bad for my <gasps> food. Like, if I had no my salami and plantains. That really looks really good. Oh, my God. These, this looks like a really good meal. Oh, salami and plantains. This, I just want to lick the screen. I just want to. I just want to. Oh, my gosh. If I went through it like that, then I wouldn't have. 
no, no. That looks really good. Oh my god, my mouth is watering. I'm a little hungry. This movie had me worried that my salami and plantains might be trying to get freaky deaky with each other. Yes, that's the weirdest part of this movie. It's not what us humans do to our food or the literal evil douche running around. It's all the freaky tension throughout this movie. Like these food items were itching to get one in. And don't get me wrong, it's funny. But that is a scary concept if you ask me. I would uh -huh. hate to have finished doing groceries and the second I walk out my kitchen, these dudes start trying to get their freak on. Like imagine- Bro, nigga, you already supposed to put the hot dog in the bun, bro. So they already just doing it for you, bro. I think this is fire. And the weekend come from your fridge. You don't know what's going on. And the movie wasn't subtle about it either. I mean, the title, bro. Read the title. We literally follow a wiener and a curvy hot dog. I'm not going to lie. This, I'd fuck it. Anyway, <laughs> I didn't even say that. Oh my God. I was joking. 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 Get a board that can handle the Neutron style. See y'all later, Nickel Reimer. What the heck did you just say? Say? Bun, and their goal is to get up inside each other. I'm not pausing that. That's actually their goal. And all this tension builds up and- I was gonna say that's a- Gets released. You see, I'll pause that one. Pause. Bro, who stuck they dick in a hot dog bun? Let's be real. I, I, didn't, I didn't say I did okay. it. At the very end of the movie, where we got the freakiest, most adult, most- most out of pocket food scene in any movie ever. I remember I this. I can't show this, so I'm gonna I remember go this. You would censor bagel or something and break down what happened. I remember this. Be warned, it's graphic. So, first, the wiener and the bun start all over the top shelf in front of everyone. Yep. And then, out of nowhere, the taco comes in with her leg and yep. then the other foods are like, damn, I wanna be left out. So then they all start. I gotta out watch this movie again. And then they I gotta watch this movie again. Just when you again. thought it was over, the bagel comes in. And this is one of my favorite movies of all time. It's the funny, like it's such a creative, good movie, bro. Let's be real. With his elbow, and then he. It was crazy. I mean, even the juice was all over the place. And in the end, they all just on the at the same time. So, it was pretty much a ditty party for foods. That was pretty much all the movies I wanted to go over today. There's a lot more that I thought. Oh my were god, weird, the B like movie. The B movie, as my boy Ken said. Yo, didn't okay? I forgot about the B movie. Didn't this nigga fuck some, a, a grown woman? Or didn't the girl want to fuck him? Why are you leaving your boyfriend for a bee? I yeah. What the fudge? That's W Riz. I don't know. Comment down below any more movies you guys want me to go over and maybe a part two. Bro, why are you putting moral those? Moral of the story. Ugh. Wow, that's beautiful. I cannot lie. Yo, shout out Derek, bro. That's a beautiful video. You just re re uh, uh imagine all these beautiful shows that I really need to watch again, bro. Shout outs to you.